सो हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू द रिकर्जन प्ले लिस्ट इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द रिकर्जन फ्रॉम जीरो टू एडवांस एंड इट्स माई गारंटी दैट वंस यू कवर द रिकर्जन प्ले लिस्ट यू विल बी मास्टरिंग द रिकर्जन बिकॉज माई प्लान इज टू टेक एज मच क्वेश्चन एज आई कूड टेक बेस्ड ऑन द रिकर्जन सो दैट एवरी पैटर्न एंड एवरी अप्रोच फिक्स इन योर माइंड सो इन फ्यूचर वेन यूर यू आर ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व द रिकर्जन क्वेश्चन देर इज नो इनी हेजिटेशन फॉर यू टू सॉल्व because this playlist is completely free for you to learn recursion right from basic to advanced so let's start with our basics of recursion right so let's first understand what do you mean by recursion so recursion simply says that the function calling itself until a specific condition okay let's forget about the bookish definition or the theoretical definition let's try to visualize or check how does a practically recursion works so first of all we will try to understand what does a function calling itself means so what i will do is i will simply write a function i will write a function called as a main because everyone knows it in languages like c c++ and java main is our go through point for any execution of the program right and inside the main function i have wrote the function called as f and i am simply calling it so here i wrote the function f and inside this print i am simply print ln called as hello so inside the function f i am simply printing hello and what i said that the function recursion is nothing but the function calling itself which means can i say that this function is again calling to itself for example as main is calling to the function f similarly this function will call to itself this function will call to itself right this is what a recursion looks like that is the function calling itself here the main was calling to the function f which means the main was calling to some other function some other function but here the function f is calling to itself that is f only the function f is calling itself to f only so what will happen is the first of all main will call the f so this statement will go and the function f will be called so hello will be printed first so simply i will write here hello now again what will happen again the function will be called so the same function will be called i am writing the same function and again hello and this is the function it looks like and again this function has called to itself it has called to itself so again what will happen hello will be printed and again it will call the same function again it will call the same function which contains print ln hello and the same function is calling to itself so this function has called to itself so again the hello will be printed again this function will call to itself this function will call to itself which contains print ln hello and this function is again calling to itself so when this function comes again the hello will be printed and again this function will call itself so in this way every function will keep on calling itself it will keep on calling itself right so this function has called to this this is called to this function this function has called to this and this function will call to some other f again this f will call to f again this f will call to f again this f will call to f so in this way the function will keep on calling to itself because if we see carefully there is no any condition we have written for which we want our program to stop no there is no any such condition so what will basically happen is it will go on calling it will go on calling it will go on calling and it will never stop right so what i want to do is first of all before we proceed further i want to show you on ide how exactly the function calling takes place if there is no any stopping condition if there is no any stopping condition what kind of error we get and then we will try to identify what is that error and why we are getting that error so here basically what i am doing is i am using the code shape online editor for java right so what i'll do is i'll simply create a function called as a fun and let me call this function and here i will simply write try to define that function that is public sorry private static void since i'm not returning anything so fun right and then simply i will print void. so we were printing hello right so let's print hello and what i will do is again i will call the same function and now what i will do is i will try to simply run this code let's see what output we get or uh, let's let's sorry just a mistake so let's run this okay now if you see carefully we got a number of hellos we got number of hellos but also at the same time we have got a runtime error we have got the runtime error and what does the error says it says a stack overflow error it simply says the stack overflow error what we basically did is the main function is calling the function called as fun and this function is again and again calling to itself and if you observe carefully as we discussed on the ipad there is no any stopping condition 
but our program is getting executed and it is printing the hello at for a certain period of time but after that we are getting the error called as a stack overflow case now let's move on to the ipad and check what does exactly the stack overflow error means so now let's understand what does exactly the stack overflow case means so what basically happening is so main function is calling to the function f this f is again calling to itself this f is again calling to itself this f is again calling to itself so let me tell you one of the most important thing is whenever the any function is called whenever any function is called the activation record is generated in the stack so first of all which function came into the picture main function because we know that main is a go through point for every function or every program right so first of all the main function came then the main function called the function f this function again called def this function again called def this function again called def again called def again called def so there is no any stopping condition right anywhere in the program there is no any stopping condition so in this way it will go on calling go on calling and go on calling but at certain period of time the that the size of my stack will completely get full right if you observe carefully my stack is basically full and now there is no any space left to call any new function now there is no any space left to call any new function and this is what we called as a stack overflow stack overflow that is there is no any space left in my stack and again you are trying to call function now suppose this was my limit that was the final limit of my stack and again you are trying to call the function how can i put this function inside my stack if there is no any space left in my stack right that is the reason why we get a error called as a stack overflow so i hope you understood what does a function calling itself means and now let's move on to the next step that is what do you mean by until a specific condition now let's discuss what is meant by until a specific condition so what i will do is i will write the same code once again i will write the same code once again that is main function is basically calling the function called as an f and here we wrote f and what we did is basically we want to have print ln hello and this again calling to its same function but only a condition over here i will write it i will simply keep n equals to 0 as of now and what i will do is if my n is equal equals to 4 i don't want to call the function i simply want to return what do you mean by i want to simply print this hello four times so now let's check out what does exactly happens so as usual what will happen is first of all the main function will get called the main function will called as a function f so this will basically called as f and it will come here and check what is the value of n the value of n is 0 so it will check is my 0 equal equal to 4 no the condition is false so this will not get executed so what will happen is simply hello will get printed so here i will write the hello so hello will get printed then again it will call the same function so basically what what will happen the same function will get called again so n is equal equal to 0 if this is the case we simply return otherwise what we basically do is we have print ln hello and again we call the same function so what will happen this function will get called once again over here and again it will check the value of n now i have incremented right so let's suppose i forgot to increase here i will do here n plus plus so my from 0 it becomes 1 i will i will check is my 1 equal equal to 4 you said no so this condition will become false and it will not get executed now what will happen simply hello will get printed so hello for the second time will get printed and again as usual i will do n plus plus so now n will become 2 and again it will call the function and again it will call the function again as usual we have n is equal equal to 4 if this is the case we simply return otherwise we simply print hello and we do n plus plus and again we call the same function so what will happen again it will come is my 2 equal equal to 4 you said no so this condition become false and again what will happen is print ln so this condition will get executed and hello will be printed n plus plus so now 2 has become 3 and again it will call the same function so what i will do is i will simply write that function over here so hello the function if my n sorry if my n is equal equal to 4 we want to simply return it otherwise we want to print ln hello and we do n plus plus and we call the same function again so again now the value of n is 3 my value of n is 3 so basically what will happen if 3 is equal equal to 4 no so this condition will not get satisfied so what will happen print hello so what will happen the print will get printed and now i will do n plus plus so now my n will become as 4 my n will become as 4 and i will call the same function once again so the same function will be get called so here the condition is n equal equal to 4 and simply want to return now observe carefully what is happening is 
the value of n is 4 and inside the if condition I wrote 4 is equal equal to 4 you said yes and then return and then it will return which means whatever the statement you have written below that are the these three statement these statements will not get executed simply the function will get returned from here so it will get return wherever it was called observe carefully that this function this function was called at this point therefore it will simply get return over here so again this function now observe carefully this function is completely executed completely executed because there is no any statement below this to execute right so therefore this statement sorry this function is also completely got executed so again this function will simply get return wherever it was got called so it was called here and it will get return again this is executed there is no any line to execute so again this statement this function is completely executed so again it will return wherever it was got called again this function is completely executed so again it will get returned where it was got called so again everything is completed so again it will return where, wherever it was called that is inside the main function so if you observe carefully what happened is exactly the four function call took place but if you observe in the above code where there was no any stopping condition I wrote what was happening is it was calling the same function again and again again and again and we got the stack overflow because the function calls was not stopping but actually what happened over here is my exactly the four functions call took place because I wrote the condition here and now whatever the condition I wrote here whatever the condition I wrote here this is what we call as a base condition this is what we call as a base condition the condition where the recursion stop the condition where the recursion basically stops so I hope so now you got the meaning of now you have completely got the meaning of the function calling itself and until the specific condition right now let's move on to our IDE and try to check what happens if you write this code how many times hello will get printed that is when n is equal equal to 4 so here I have wrote the same code I simply wrote the function fun which is basically call inside the main function so what does main function is doing is it's simply calling this function so first of all I have wrote the n equals to 0 initially the value of n is 0 and I will check is my n equal equal to 4 if it is it will simply return if it is not it will simply print hello and it will do call the fun same function only a step we are missing over here is that I need to increase the fun, uh, value of n as well right otherwise what will happen if you don't write this n plus plus the value of n will remain 0 and then again it will go inside the infinite loop infinite loop so this is the code let's try to run and check whether we are able to print hello for the four times yes we are able to see the hello printing for the four times so this is what we call as a base condition which basically help us to stop our recursion which basically help us to stop our recursion now let's understand the next concept which we call as a recursion tree now what does recursion tree basically indicates if you observe carefully in the two methods that is first of all without condition and then with the condition what basically we did is we wrote the same function and again and again right I wrote the same function over here this function again over here again over here if you observe carefully inside the base condition as well this function this function this function these are all the same functions right and I'm writing that function again and again so this is not a good practice to write the same function again and again of course this is a small code so it might feel like it is easier no as our length of the code increases writing the same code again and again becomes a lot more difficult and in order to avoid this we got a concept what we call as a recursion tree so recursion tree is basically used to stress your recursive function calls it is basically used to stress your recursive function call so what function we basically wrote here is we wrote the function fun and inside which we wrote if my n is equal equal to 4 we simply return right and inside this what we wrote is we simply have the print ln hello and we simply incremented the value of n by 1 and again we call the function fun once again so how does a recursive function tree looks like so first of all what is happening is the function fun will be called with the value of n is let's suppose we have the value of n is 0 now what will happen what will happen hello will be printed right this will becomes false this will get printed now the value of n will be incremented and again I will call the function so function fun will be called again but now my value of n is 1 because I have incremented it by 1 right over here so again what will happen this condition will become false again the hello will be printed again I will increase the value of n by 1 and again I will call the same function but by incrementing the value of n by 1 again what will happen this condition will become false again the hello will be get printed again I'm increment the value of n and again I'm calling the same function that is for three times once again so this condition will become false 
so hello will be printed so i am incrementing the value of n and i am calling the same function with incrementing the value now what will happen this condition will become true this condition will become true and it will simply return so this will return over here 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 and this will return to the main wherever this function was called wherever this function was called so this was the introductory video of the recursion i tried to explain you the three important things over here that is first of all i explain what do you mean by function calling itself where we saw that we are able to see the function call again and again again and again because there was no any stopping condition then we basically saw until a specific condition where we wrote a base condition up to which our function should get called so here the we kept the value of n as 4 wherever the value of n reaches 4 your function call should stop and that is the reason why we were able to see the 4 hello and when we don't write the base condition we were able to see the error which we called as a stack overflow and what do you mean by stack overflow by calling the function again and again again and again again and again after a certain period of time the stack becomes full and there will be no any space to call the any new function and th because of this we are able to see the stack overflow and finally we saw what do you mean by recursive tree because every time we cannot write the same code again and again that is the reason why we have the option for the recursive tree which basically help us to keep a trace of recursive code so i hope in this video you at least got the basics of recursion from the next video we will be solving some basics problems of recursion so that you can fit the patterns and approach in your brain till then see you in the next video